know, I get a lot of requests for some gear that may not be the most expensive, good entry level gear. And so when the guys at 3V Gear got in touch with me and they said, hey, we've got some different gear that we really want to get to you and let you check it out, see what you think, I thought this would be a great option for you guys, especially on a budget. Honestly, that's what I thought when I saw the, the bags. I said, for the prices that these guys are selling this stuff for, it can't be super high quality. But to be honest with you, with all the features and how versatile this bag is, I think you're going to be really surprised, as much as I was. The Paratus by 3V Gear. Paratus means prepared or being ready. This is a three-day pack. It's an operator's pack. Uh, it's a great get home, bug out, whatever you want. It's one of the largest packs you'll probably need for that kind of situation. It's large. It's roomy. I love Maxpedition. I do a lot of Maxpedition, but it's not cheap. You get what you pay for, but it, if you're on a budget, it can be a little more than you're willing to spend if you're buying other things. So the Paratus from 3V Gear, I think is going to be a great option for the budget-minded. And we're going to look through all the details. You can figure that out for yourself. This is a really unique bag system, and I think you're going to be intrigued by it. You can see that it's a pretty large pack. In fact, the main compartment is 20 inches in height, and it's 1,320 cubic inches. So you have a, a lot of space in here. But what's really cool about this are the exterior packs. And if you'll look here, down here at the bottom, and on this side are Molly compatible detachable packs where you can trim this down, use these packs separately, add other packs to it. For us to get a better look at the pack itself, I'm going to go ahead and remove these pouches. Uh, one of the things I want to mention though that I really like about these pouches are the straps, the, the Molly straps actually have Velcro. And so you're going to be able to weave these into the molly, and then two, you're going to have the security of the Velcro, plus these little snaps at the end. The large butt pouch at the end, it even has a strap with it. It does have these unusual metal buckles, and I think those are a pretty neat system. It really holds well. Now we have the bag without the extra pouches, and you can see it's still a very large bag with a lot of room. Pals webbing or molly all the way here on the front, at the top here, also along the side. A lot of compression straps to be able to get those down. Compression straps here with really solid one inch webbing. We have your Fastex buckles, easy access. Which this also gives some security so nobody can just inadvertently get in your pack really quickly. They've got to undo the buckles first and then with the zippers. Of course it's double zipper, these are just corded pulls. They're not paracord, but they work really well. Has a good solid grab handle. Uh, this has been stitched, double stitched all the way across. It's been double and triple stitched here at the seams. Uh, another thing about the Molly is all the Molly has been just really reinforced each of the dividing points. Uh, everything is double stitched, so it makes it really nice and solid. Of course, the detachable packs, these are really similar to IFAX. Of course, you have your Molly here, and then again, the Velcro that we talked about a minute ago with the snaps it does have a single pull with self healing zippers. Now, one thing I really like is in, even inside the regular pack, there's a nylon lining in each of these, and this has a small little uh, pouch or sleeve inside. So it's just a very open pack that you can really pack some stuff in. And of course, there are two of those. Then we have the butt pack with a great grab handle. And then this has compression straps uh, with a security. Has a front little pouch here. The front has the nylon lining. And then here at the back, you have some little pockets. You have a sleeve in the back and then two small sleeves in the front. Zippers are self-healing, of course, with the little pulls. Then we have the main compartment. Has a nice little mesh sleeve in here. And then again, it's lined on both sides. Just a big open compartment. Then you have two smaller compartments on the outside. Uh, again, the lining here. Just a nice little compartment to put a small pair of binoculars or whatever you want. And of course, this is on both sides with Molly and Molly. On the back, we have a belt strap. This is removable. And then there are uh, attachment points here if you want to put this strap as a shoulder bag which that way you can just strap it to your shoulder. Here we have these buckles, and this is very unusual, These the, the chrome buckles. Uh, I think you can actually weave your strap through here if you want, 
and I'll be able to make attachment points for various things. Right here there's a little Velcro closure and then here in the back you can tuck away your waist belt inside this little closure especially if you're putting this and attaching this to your pack. One of the things that I really like about this little small pack though is that you can keep essentials in here and that if you need to leave your pack behind you can grab this with the essentials and you're a lot lighter on your feet or keep you know or you can get to those essentials really quickly. The back of the pack is padded it has small little cells uh, that add padding and then it gives you some air that comes through. Uh, as I was wearing this pack uh, the past few days it really was very airy and even though it was hot and humid it kept a lot of the heat and perspiration off your back. This is a closed foam padding so it's going to hold its shape. Now my Latin's not the best but this is a phrase from Julius Caesar Vine Vidi Vici which means I came, I saw, I conquered. So <laughs> And you bring this pack, you're going to conquer whatever you have in front of you. But it does have nice webbing. Everything is stitched, double, triple stitched. And so it's just going to hold up really well. Uh, the straps are padded. They do have a mesh backing right here, which does add to keeping it comfort. Uh, very cool. It does have straps that come all the way down with uh, metal D-rings, which I was actually pleasantly surprised about that. Uh, box etch stitching. And then, you know, you have your really good, solid adjustments right here. And, of course, this is fully adjustable. It does have a waist belt with padded sections here. Nice, heavy uh, Duraflex buckles. And, of course, this is fully adjustable here and toward the back. And we also have a chest strap right here. And uh, good Fastex buckles with elastic. So this is going to give as you move, and that's one of the things I really like about this section. It just kind of gives, gives you a little bit of flexibility. Pack's pretty easy to take off and on. Sometimes uh, taking a pack off, once you get that first strap around, sometimes it's hard to find that other strap. But this just seems to naturally be easy to access. A lot of times I've done reviews where the actually the strap would end up turned like this didn't even know it uh, just because of the way I was grabbing it this every time I've taken it on and off uh, it's been in the right position so I don't know if that's just luck probably is but uh, knowing my luck probably not <laughs> the front pouch has double zippers it opens up really nice it has a lot of room in fact it's 468 cubic inches we have a mesh net here it's 13 inches deep it's 12 inches across and it's three inches in width so you're gonna have a lot of room inside this pack even in the front pouch the one thing is though is it's really just open so you can really pack a lot of stuff you're not gonna get super organized in there but you can put other pouches in there if you want to organize it of course there are compression straps on the sides this really helps to get things packed down it's not flopping around inside the pack you have double zippered pulls. Really opens up really nice and big. This is 20 inches in depth, it's 12 inches across, and it's five inches in width in the bottom. This is a really large pack. You can really put a lot of gear in here. Uh, and it's really pretty open. I mean, right here you have a sleeve, and of course that has this nylon fabric. You can see this, it's just a really nice feel to it. Uh, it's almost like a coat liner. It's uh, it's just really nice. But uh, this, I think, is going to be a little bit more water resistant than just straight from the canvas or the 600 denier. But it is a big open system. So if you really like to get highly organized, you're going to need to add other packs in here to organize things. But this is great to just pack the things you need in this big main compartment. Now, 3V Gear is also offering hydration bladders. This is their 2-liter bladder. It's $12.83. I mean, that is fantastic. It has a, a cover that goes over the tube. The bladder fits back into the back of the pack. Tube can run through right with this hole to come right out. Here you have your clamp, which can be attached directly to the Molly webbing. Right here on your tube, you have a small magnet to be able to hold this into place. There's also a quick detach place right here to be able to detach the tube for cleaning that's connected right with the bladder. And then it goes right into place, tuck it away. 
You know, for the price of $12.83 for the bladder system, that way you can outfit your whole family. You can get one of the Camelbacks or the Platypus or one of the more higher end water bladders. And we're going to do some testing on this one to make sure that it functions in the long term. But with a lifetime guarantee, being able to outfit your family, I think it could be a really great option. The one thing about 3V Gear is that they have a lifetime guarantee on their products and it's going to be very hard to beat. They're trying to sell these direct to get the price really down. So this on the 3vgear.com website is $69. I mean, that's with these extra packs. No, it's not a Maxpedition. It's not super stitched in every, every place. But I think in the important areas, and from everything I've seen, the quality looks really good. There is a lot, there's double stitching. Of course, with the Molly, there's triple stitching or quadruple stitching. I mean, it's really just reinforced. Here's the Maxpedition Proteus. It's very similar to the 3V Gear Butt Pack. This runs about between $55 and $65 according to where you find it. So for Maxpedition quality, it's unsurpassed. And really, I'm not going to say this is even compares, honestly, to Maxpedition because it is the top of the line. It's top shelf. And I have a number of Maxpedition packs. And I've had experience with these packs for about five or six years. So I really am a big fan of Maxpedition. I'm a big fan of super quality. But if you're looking for an entry-level pack, I think that the 3V Gear Pack is going to be a great option. It's going to match any of more most of the mainline backpack makers that are out there that are making the tactical packs but they also have a number of other packs on their website this is the largest this is what they call their flagship model but there are a lot of different things there so check out 3vgear.com i think it's a great way to be able to get entry level into a great pack something that's very versatile there's just a lot you can do with this bag and then with the lifetime guarantee i think that really gives you some confidence in making a purchase this is the olive drab version of the Paratus. It also comes in a Coyote and it comes in a black version as well. And the only thing this bag is missing is a Team Such vinyl patch. Now we're ready to rock. So if you're looking for a good three day pack, bug out bag, get home bag, it's gonna be hard to beat the versatility of this bag. I mean, even though the price is very reasonable, there's a lot of great features on this bag that make it really an excellent option for your kit. So check out 3vgear.com and all the other products that these guys are putting out. Uh, I don't know how they do it. I mean $69 for a bag pack like this with all the other features. It's not a Maxpedition but it is about half the price. So I think for the features you're getting I think it'll be a good option. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Then right here on your tube, also a small magnet. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Home sweet home.